topics. And then once a topic is picked, uh, if it's something I know a lot about, like, a, you know, it's a control theory topic, usually I can just go off and make the video on my own and I come back to them and then they review it and, you know, request changes and, and tweaks and things like that. If it's a topic I don't know very well, like it was for reinforcement learning uh, or autonomous navigation, I, I luckily get, get to sit down with a bunch of experts at MathWorks and they point me to where I can get up to speed. They can point me to the, the, the documents that they've written. They can answer all of my questions and then they can sort of help me craft the story. And then I go off and I take all of that information and I try to distill it down into a 15 minute narrative. So have you found that kind of breaking it down to a narrative kind of a little bit difficult for the, the parts that you said that you don't know a lot about? So say the machine learning part. Um, that, that's one thing that I've kind of seen is like if someone requests a video that, you know, it's about overall mechanics, but um, it's not something I've studied deeply, like for the first thing um, or the, one of the first things that I made a video about that I didn't previously know a lot about was ground tracks and how to do those rotations, say from inertial frame to earth fixed frame and then down to um, convert to latitudinal coordinates. And I found that I just, it's, I've learned so much from doing it and I've learned much more and I've gone deeper in depth than I would have done if it was maybe say for a homework assignment or for a work assignment. Um, so how has that experience been for you just kind of um, going through the process of learning it and learning it well enough in order to be able to confidently teach it? Yeah, that's a great question because no, no video I've worked on, even if I consider myself an expert in it, have I not had to do a ton of research for. Mm -hmm. uh, because I want to make sure that I don't have a misconception about something, even something that I've done professionally for 15 years. Uh, so I'm always learning every single time on every video. Some of them I have a better experience with, obviously, than, than others. So like with a controls video, I may learn something new, but when I learn something new, I instantly can usually determine how that applies practically to, to industry or to a problem that I want to solve. And I want to try to bring that application into my videos so that it's not just, you know, rote learning with a bunch of math and things like that. It's like, look, this might seem, you know, abstract, but it's got a real concrete use. And here is what that use is. That relationship between pure theory and applied engineering, I don't, that's where I, I struggle the most with topics that I don't understand. Um, so like in control theory, I can, I made a video on the Ralph Hurwitz criterion, right? That is a very academic thing. I have never used that in real life ever. Um, and I barely even use the insights that I've gained from learning it. But everybody, all, all the students have to learn this thing. And so I made a video on it so that, you know, we can get through all of that together. But I was able to say in that video, you're probably never going to learn this. But if you are excited about just the field in general, this is something worth knowing. And that's what I'm terrified about when I talk about machine learning or when I talk about autonomous navigation or something is that I don't know whether something is purely academic and I'm wasting everybody's time by describing it and not giving them the proper caveats mm -hmm. or if it is you know, the industry standard. It's the PID control of machine learning or something like that. And so I have to rely uh, on the experts who, from MathWorks mostly, who uh, review the video to let me know those things, to make those connections. And I'll ask those questions when I go into review. I say, you, you know, this is a nice theoretical concept. How can I tie this to something concrete? And more often than not, MathWorks has a, an example already, a shipping example that does that very thing. And then I can just reference that and I can talk around it or so. But I, I, uh, that's the thing I'm struggling with still, which is this sort of people expect that I'm an expert in something when I put a video out. And usually what it is, is that I've done a ton of research and it's been tweaked and edited and blessed by the real experts that looked at it first um, before it goes live, which I've been grateful for. And, and I think they've worked out better that way um, than you know if I'm just trying to tackle something on my own.